Okay, let's say you do not need the penultimate setup and you just want to have a few hundred games that you love more than anything and just want to go back to time and time again. You do not want to go out of your way to do all the crazy compression to get 2,000 to 5,000 games on there. Typically, when you add artwork via Hacksheet, it shrinks down to predetermined measurements based on what Cluster M and Bad Monkey set up. So I'm going to show you how you could adjust the art accordingly so that you have the original intact art and higher definition. So I'm going onto my Hashi 2 interface. I have 10 yard fight for Nintendo as an example. You go up to the top right where it says ID, CLV, Z, blah blah blah. I'm going to go into my games folder and I'm going to search for part of the ID so I can pull up that folder. Once I'm in that folder I'm going to take the larger ping and I'm going to make a copy of it into my backup folder. I made a folder just called Hashi2 for the backup. Now I'm going to go into my NES art folder and pull up a 10 yard fight. And then I'm going to go into the original folder. You can do this with more than one window open. I'm just backing out of it, you know, make it easy to follow. So I'm going into the Hashi2. I'm renaming this. And then I'm going to rename the NESR that. Now I just have to copy this into the games folder and let it overwrite the one that Hashi2 shrunk down. So now when I flash the system, I'll have the higher definition untouched one. And I did a comparison side by side so you can see this. I have the Hashi 2 one that's shrunken down. I also applied my compression technique so that I could get it to a smaller lossless size, but that did not affect the actual dimensions. Hashi 2 itself took the dimensions down. So this is the Hashi 2 version. Here's the original untouched version. So I added this original untouched version and when it flashes it's going to have this one instead of the other one now. And you could do it with pretty much any picture. The other thing you could do is if you open up any of these and paint. Say I have the original one right here. I'm opening with paint on Windows. You could also just highlight your mouse over and see it too, but I'm going to resize. And it has horizontal pixels 397, vertical pixels 660. So I could pretty much take a picture and adjust these dimensions accordingly if I want to change how big an artwork is on a mini Nintendo once flashed. And I'm going to show you the end result of this. Here I'm just highlighting it. It says 397 by 660. Here's 122 by 204. Now I'm going to switch over to Mini Nintendo and show you the end result, which will have a cool 3D pop up effect because I'm using a bigger artwork file than the one that got shrunken down. Now, sometimes when you flash the system, you will have unresponsiveness from the controller as I've mentioned before so you just have to turn the system off and back on and it generally fixes it so I'm turning it back on and you'll see the difference with the 10 yard fight that I had compared to the rest of the Nintendo artwork Here we have the ones that have been shrunken down that I applied my compression technique to. They look great. But then you're going to see the 10 yard fight that I added as original intact format. Notice how it pops out much more higher definition. So you could technically add your artwork this way and have this nifty effect. You could do it by adding the original one or you could just change the dimensions to match them and you'll still get it. 
You could also run the Ping Yu program that I've showed you before and shrink these down. I mean, there's so many limitless options you could do, but if you want to have original intact art that's not shrunken down and higher definition, this is how you add them. Hope you enjoyed the video.